Thank you, man. Where's Gays for Trump? You don't look good. He said, you look good. He said, you look good. This is Donald Trump and Mar-a-Lago cracking some jokes, you know, because you don't look gay is what he told one person in particular asking about what it is he's doing as far as his outreach and things like that. Uh, the event was a fundraiser, it was for John Gibbs. Uh, he's facing off with Peter Meyer in a race for a house seat in Michigan. So some want to know where the gays for Trump are because that is a group that apparently supports him as they always like to point out, but you have to look a little more gay in order to get any kind of recognition. So Gibbs served in the Trump administration as an official at the Department of Housing and Urban Development. Meyer drew Trump's ire after he joined nine other House Republicans in voting to impeach the then president in January of 21 for inciting his supporters to attack the US Capitol, as we all know. So the Gays for Trump organization wasn't very pleased about this whole thing, so they wanted to have something to say about this. Peter Boykin, who's the founder of the Gays for Trump organization, told Newsweek in a Thursday email, uh, those who associate with this group, quote, probably don't look gay because as a stereotype, that fits more with the typical, quote, look of leftist LGBT. Hmm. Uh, not saying some of us uh, uh, might look fabulous and gay. So again, hey, this guy's kind of everywhere on this. Also, uh, one more uh, thought from this about their response, many folks from this group. Otherwise, it was a suit and tie event. So unless one of us was wearing a Joker suit, meh. Gays for Trump is a nationwide movement full of various types of gays and the gay community has a lot of diversity. The difference is the gays for Trump lean right. I think that is the difference. It has nothing to do with whether or not you're gay or not, it's whether or not you're gonna support people who hate you. I mean, it's a political thing. It's not really about actually advocating for anyone's rights or actually not being persecuted in the country. So also, Trump had this disrespectful mark as we saw, but folks laugh at it because you know, it's like mine and it's Trump. Um, but uh, considering how he said this, let's look at this uh, other aspect of what he's also done for the gay folks. Hmm, there he is, LGBTs for Trump as he unveils that flag. Um, again, the people in his party were doing things like trying to ban this flag, getting it taken down when people put things up, trans flags, of course, like that. So this is the kind of uh, behavior we get from Trump, as we can always tell. Uh, but what about when he's talking about Mike Pence? And this little joke he cracked about Pence and his thoughts about gay folks, his vice president. During a meeting with a legal scholar, Trump belittled Trump's de de determination, Pence's, I'm sorry, Pence's determination to overturn Roe versus Wade. And he said, you see, you've wasted all this time and energy on it, and it's not going to end abortion anyway. When the, when the conversation turned to gay rights, Trump uh, motioned forward to Pence and he joked, don't ask that guy. He wants to hang them all <laughs> because that's funny. My vice president hates gay folks so much he wants to kill them, okay? Also among all LGBTQ voters in the 2020 election, 81% voted for President elect Biden and 14 for President Trump. And among first time LGBTQ voters, 86% voted for President elect Biden and 10% for President Trump. So he's just, he's doing smashingly you guys with the gay folks because they have to look a certain way. Ugh. Yeah, as a queer person, it's just so embarrassing. These people are so embarrassing. You're supporting a party that's passing legislation like the Don't Say Gay bill, but also a party that has a senator who just like two weeks ago during the Supreme Court confirmation hearing said that he opposes gay marriage and that it should have been left up to the states. Also interracial marriage, but that's an aside. <laughs> but I mean, it's, it's just embarrassing. It's embarrassing. You're sitting here supporting someone who hates you. like. How are you not embarrassed? And joking about it. Yeah, so when he says uh, you don't seem gay, I guess he doesn't mean, uh, well, he probably means you're not like flamboyant or gay like in the movies, you know? Like, I'm a little bit gay myself, and uh, you probably wouldn't note at first glance until, uh, you know, I'm a little bit silly. Um, but uh, uh, to be perfectly honest, uh, I, I, I think it's it's unfortunate. It's unfortunate that it has to, to work out that way, and someone like Donald Trump uh, uses it in such a condescending manner. It's always worked out for him, that's the reason why. Thanks for watching The Young Turks. I really appreciate Appreciated. Another way to show support is through YouTube memberships. You'll get to interact with us more. There's live chat emojis, badges. You've got emojis of me, Anna, John, JR. So those are super fun. But you also get playback of our exclusive member only shows and specials right after they air. So all of that, all you gotta do is click that join button right underneath the video. Thank you.